What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to do technical analysis with trading view in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to do technical analysis using trading view in Python today. And this can be done very easily by using a package called trading view dash TA. So trading view dash technical analysis, this is what it stands for. And for those of you who don't know what TradingView is, it's essentially a platform that provides stock data and currency data and crypto data and allows us to do some technical analysis. And one of the most popular tools on this platform is the charting tool, the visualization tool, which is very feature rich and you can use it to do some technical analysis and some visualization stuff. The package we're going to use today is not going to do any of that. It's not going to do any fancy visualizations. It's just going to provide us with analyses. It's going to provide us with recommendations, quote unquote. This is, of course, not financial advice. This video is just programming advice showing you how to do stuff programmatically. None of this is to be considered investment advice. You should not buy or sell something just because this package says so or the platform says so. I'm just showing you how to use it. But this package will give us the recommendation or the aggregated recommendations, and it's going to give us a lot of interesting indicators. We don't have to calculate anything ourselves. It's a very easy to use package. So what we need to do first is we need to open up a command line and we need to install this package using pip. So either pip or pip3 install, and then we're going to install trading view dash ta. Once you have this installed, you can start by importing from trading view. Uh, let me just see if it's underscore or dash it's underscore, of course, since this is an import from trading view underscore TA import, and we're going to import TA handler, exchange, and in the no, actually not indicator, we're going to import interval. And what we can do now very easily to get information about one specific symbol about a stock, for example, is we can say something like Tesla, equals and then we can say ta underscore handler and now we can specify a bunch of keyword parameters here and the first one of course is the symbol which in this case is obviously tsla if you don't know the symbol you can just google it uh, and then we need to specify a screener and an exchange and for the screener now we're just going to specify here america and for the exchange we're going to specify uh, nasdaq like this. Uh, and then we can also specify an interval, which is why we import this interval up here. So we can say interval equals and this basically defines how granular our data is going to be. So how large the time gaps are between the individual data points. And we can say here, for example, we want to have very granular data. So interval dot interval underscore one underscore minute, which is quite granular. Um, what we can do now with this handler object is we can get information uh, we can get an analysis from trading view. So we can say Tesla dot get underscore analysis, and you will see that this is just a trading view analysis object. But what you can get from this object now is a bunch of different things or two very interesting things. First of all, you can get the summary and the summary is exactly what I said. It's a recommendation to do something again, not financial advice here, you should not buy sell or hold or anything because of this recommendation here, make your own decisions. If it was as easy as just following the recommendations and making money, everyone would do it, people are not doing it. So don't rely on that. Um, but what you get here is basically how many uh, analyses or recommendations say buy how many say sell or neutral or strong buy or strong sell. And then you get an overall aggregated recommendation from the platform. And you can change the ticker symbol here to something else like Microsoft to get in this case a sell again, don't do it just because it says so. But you can try this now for different stocks like Nvidia, you can do it for AMD, you can do it for maybe we can get a strong sell or strong buy, maybe something like AMC, what do we get here? Oh, actually, it doesn't find it because it's not listed in the NASDAQ. Uh, but maybe we can get Goldman Sachs. Okay, also probably not listed in the NASDAQ. Um, maybe we should go with a snap in the NASDAQ. I'm not sure. No. Okay. But we can go with let's go back to Tesla here. You can get the summary like this. What you can also get is you can get indicators. And this is where the technical analysis actually happens, because this is now just a recommendation. What you can do is you can say Tesla get analysis. And then you can get from this indicators. 
and indicators is a list of a bunch of different technical analysis indicators. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I understand all of them or even most of them, but you can see stuff that we have already covered on this channel. For example, the relative strength indicator. Uh, I hope it's indicator, not index. Um, maybe it's index. I don't know. But then we also have the MACD, the MACD signal, uh, signal. So this is the moving average convergence divergence. Then we also have exponential and simple moving average. So depending on what you know and what you can do something with, you also have the volume here, high, open, low, close, stuff like that. Um, but you just get a list of indicators and you can get a specific one if you're interested, for example, RSI, and then you get the value. So you can use this instead of doing your own technical analysis on the data, you can just use this package to get it immediately from the platform to just get the raw value on demand. Of course, you will need to have an internet connection, but you can do it like that uh, instead of calculating it yourself. Um, so this is one thing that you can do. The interesting thing is you can also do this for currencies and for crypto. And you can actually do this for a bunch of more things because there's a website, I can copy paste it here. The website is basically TVDB, I think this stands for trading view database and then Brian the dot def, I think this is probably the username, I'm not sure. But this website, essentially, you can search it. So for example, I can say Nvidia, and then you get a bunch of different uh, combinations that you can use here. So the ticker symbol, the exchange and the screener. So those are the values that you would actually use uh, in here in the constructor to get the respective uh, asset. So this is something you can do. You can also say Bitcoin, for example, BTC, or maybe I can say Bitcoin. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be listed here. There you go. You can say, for example, crypto, Kraken, and then BTC, USDC. Um, but this doesn't seem to be a complete list. Oh, actually it is, you just have to switch. But then you can see here you have the screen of crypto, different exchanges, and then you have different symbols that you can ask for depending on what you're looking for. So I can say Bitcoin USD, okay, actually it doesn't work like this, but maybe I can say BTC USDT. And then you can see I get, um, for example, here from this exchange, uh, but we can just go ahead and try it now. So we can say, for example, that in specific, um, I'm interested in Binance Bitcoin to USDT. So I can say BTC USDT, the screener is crypto, and the exchange is Binance. And by doing that, I basically get again, the data for Bitcoin against USDT, which in this case would be sell again, doesn't have to be true. We can change the interval, I think it's one month it should also be possible. There you go. In this case, we get a buy because we have less granular data. So that's also uh, something that you might want to consider when doing the analysis or when getting the recommendation, if you want to consider it at all. Um, and of course, now this works for currencies as well. All you have to do is you have to go to the website, you have to look for some something specific for some asset that you want to trade. So for example, we can say USD Euro, for example. Um, and then we can see here we have Forex, uh, FX underscore IDC. USD Euro is going to be the dollar against Euro. So you can just go ahead and try to get the data. USD Euro screener is Forex. And then we have the exchange. Now, what you can also do instead of using the string is you can say exchange this is why we imported it exchange and then dot let me just see what the exact keyword was uh, dot Forex like this. This also works. Now, this is still called Tesla, you can ignore this, we can just call it handler, so that it's not necessarily a specific stock. Um, but yeah, you can see that you get the different indicators here, you can also again, say handler dot get analysis, indicators in general. And you can use this to make decisions if you are confident that you should be doing that. But again, not financial advice, programming advice here. So yeah, this is how you can do technical analysis easily using TradingView in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.